Okay, hello everyone. Oh, I'm so excited to be back filming. I will do a get ready with me talking about life updates, but basically from this upload onward, fingers crossed, I should be back to my regular upload schedule. I would love, love, I dream of having four day a week uploads again, but three days a week is more likely um, anyway, today I am beyond excited to be filming this first impressions of Glam Light, which is a brand I'm pretty sure I've said I wanted to try probably since like 2020. <laughs> um, and I finally made an order from them for Black Friday. They actually had a really great Black Friday sale and I did buy the two Scooby-Doo palettes from them. Honestly, with the sale, pretty sure it was around like 12 USD, which is, I'm almost positive, under $20 for each of these palettes. They're pretty reasonably priced to begin with, but I could not pass that up. And I am just, even just looking at them, I'm so excited. I feel like I touched on this before, I have like a weirdly sentimental spot for Scooby-Doo, but beyond that, the color stories of these palettes are just delectable. So this is the Rut Row Raggy palette. Even the packaging, it's like, if you're not a Scooby-Doo fan, I think this goes for a lot of Glamlays themes, like they go hard on the theme. Um, but like it's very nice and it's like sturdy and look at that color story Ugh. and then this is the creeps and it crawls palette which is their like purpley and blue one and I mean look at the depth of these palettes the depth in these palettes is just calling my name if you know me you know there's nothing that I love more than deep mattes and we have exactly that. So my goal, I'm going to use both of these palettes in a look today. I think I'm going to do like a half green, half purple eye. Um, and then I also did buy the highlighter as well, which looks beautiful. I have not used this yet. The packaging of this is also really cool. It's like a dual phase, like highlighter thingy picture. You know what I mean? Anyway, and I feel okay about doing a first impressions on these because they're still available on Glam Light's website. I'm not 100% sure the status, whether this is limited edition or what, but as of filming this, they're still available, so I figured if you're interested in hearing my thoughts or seeing me use them, now is as good a time as any. I'm gonna live swatch now. I'm gonna live swatch now. Do not, well, I mean, you can judge. Judge my Co Kurt Cobain shirt. Oh, you can't really see. It has Kurt Cobain on the front. I bought this from Forever 21 Was I when I was a teenager. Um, and it's my comfy shirt, and I forgot that I probably should take my long sleeve off to live swatch these palettes. Okay, anyway. I have not, I don't think I've swatched the shimmers yet. From these so anyway I'm just really really excited so these don't have shade names I'm gonna start with the rut row raggy which is the um, like blue and green palette so this is the first shimmer which is a dark kind of like gray blue with tons of silver sparkle it has like a purpley quality as well this is the second shimmer Again, a blue purple shade with like, looks like it has a purpley base with light blue sparkle. And then this is a really bright lime green shimmer. So far so good with the swatching. <laughs> then we have a more like mid-toned green and then a tealy deeper green. <gasps> Look at that, you guys. Oh my god. Let's zoom in a little bit, even though I will do up close swatches of these. And then let's get into the mattes. So, this is the first matte, which is a dark blue. Then we have a lighter blue. Then 
a light green. This is a deeper teal. Definitely swatches lighter than it looks in the pan, that one. And then we have this really deep green, I believe. Oh yeah, look at that, gorgeous. So this is the Rut Row Raggy palette. And then I'm just gonna scooch over and swatch the Creeps and Crawls palette on my other arm. Why not? Okay, so first we have a lighter purple shimmer. Ooh, beautiful. It's like a bluey, kind of purpley base with purple shimmer. Then we have a deeper purple. Almost looks like it has a black base to it or a really deep base. And then this is a the lighter blue shimmer in the palette. This palette looks definitely deeper, like in general. Then we have a deeper blue shimmer. Again, looks like it kind of has a black base. And then this is a lighter purpley shimmer. Like a warm purple base with blue shimmer. Then we have the matte. So this is the lightest purple matte. Then we have the next matte purple. Then we have almost like a greeny blue shade. Kind of like a teal as well. Then a deep matte blue. And then a dark purple matte. Ooh, look at that. So beautiful. Okay, so this is the Rut Row Raggy, and this is the Creeps and Crawls. Beautiful colors. Um, everything, I mean, the shimmer is especially swatched. Absolutely gorgeous. Obviously, swatches only do tell you so much, so let's do some up-close swatches, some eye swatches now, and then we will get into the eye look.
welcome to the eyes watching portion of this video. I'm gonna start with the Retro Raggy palette for this one. But yeah, no idea what I started with in the beginning. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. No shade names and no shade descriptions um, on Glam Light's website. So we're just going in with my descriptions and I'm going to, for each eye swatch, prime each of my eyes with the NARS Much Proof Eyeshadow Base. This is always the base that I use for shadow if you're new to my channel. It doesn't have any pigment um, and it's not overly tacky, but I love it and I feel like it's just the perfect base for eyeshadow, just for reference. Okay, so I'm going to start with the first shade in the palette, which is this like purpley blue, I guess you would say. Um, for shimmers, I always just start with these shimmers dry and then I'll wet them and then I'll intensify them with my finger. That's generally how I do it. This is a dry application. I'm obsessed. It is a, yeah, like midnight blue with like silver sparkle. I mean, obviously I don't need to, but I'm gonna wet this because that's what I typically do with my um, eye swatches. I mean, it's just so pretty. And then again, not needed, but I'm going to go in with my finger and intensify it. So pretty. Okay, next shade is this bluey purple shade. This is not really that purple. Please excuse my... Okay. Shh. <laughs> this shade is not actually that purple, but this shade is kind of like a blue-purple duochrome. So again, going in with this shimmer dry oh my god yeah so it's like a blue purple Duochrome. It has like a purpley plummy base with like blue shimmer to it. Stunning. And now I'm going to wet this and intensify this on my lid. I mean, I really don't need to do that much. This is so nice. And then go in with my finger. Gorgeous. I mean, look at these colors, you guys. Okay, so there's sparkles everywhere, but we're just going to have to accept it because they're very hard to get off. Next up is the this green shade, this really beautiful lime green. beautiful so now I'm going to wet this and then intensify it with my finger I mean stunning next up is this Almost like more neutral sagey green metallic shade. I'm gonna go 
on with this wet This has almost like a golden sheen to it and then intensifying this on my lid yeah I would say it's like a neutralish green with like a golden shine look at these greens so pretty okay last <clears throat> shimmer in this palette this deep green that that is a dry shimmer uh. wetting it and this has like a deeper kind of like blue um not shift but like almost base to it as well uh, stunning finger gorgeous look at that so so pretty now we have the first matte in the palette this dark blue so nice that is so nice and this is why you cannot rely on swatching because look at that the way that blue went on oh divine absolutely divine and honestly it's just like a really dark navy blue okie dokie now I'm going to take this blue periwinkly kind of blue shade like a cornflower blue it's really pretty it took a little bit more building up than the navy but I think you're I mean I was able to build it um and I don't really see any patchiness or anything so so far so good on that one next up is this limey green maybe it's not quite a limey green it's like a little bit of a deeper limey green such pretty colors <clears throat> okay last two shades so now we have this teal I did notice when I was doing my like look that this teal seemed a little bit sheer so we're just gonna see how it goes on I mean this is a little bit sheer I mean it 
can be it can be built up to like this level I feel and it's not patchy it's just I think like one of the sheerest mattes that I've tried so far so yeah but I think it's still like pretty mm, it's maybe a little bit lighter than the way it looks in the pan and then the last matte is this deep green And that is absolutely gorgeous. That is so opaque, so beautiful. What a lovely, it's like a dark forest green. Mm -mm -mm. And that is all the shades in the Retro Raggy palette. Okay, now we have the Creeps and Crawls palette. So, starting with this purple. Again, starting dry. Let me just tap these creases out. to spray this and then intensify this on my lid with my finger so this has like an indigo base with a warm purple shift and there's like gold sparkle in this as well so pretty and then next step is this deeper purple shimmer Give that a little spray, put this on wet. And then with the finger. So this has like almost a black base with purple and pink shimmer. It's like a really beautiful like jewel toned purple. Okie dokie, now we have this deeper or no this later of the two like tea leaf shimmers wet this now and intensify with my finger so this has like a really deep almost like sheer kind of black base and it has like a it's teal but it has like a kind of like blue navy shift to it really really pretty and then we have this deeper teal shimmer. intensifying this on my lid 
and then going in with my finger this isn't quite as sparkly as the other ones it's a little bit deeper so it's kind of to be expected it also has like a navy kind of blue shift to it with purple sparkle um, this is almost just like the deeper version of this shimmer okay and the last shimmer in the palette is this shade right here <laughs> Go in with this wet now. I'm going to intensify this on my lid with my finger. So this is like a warm purple base with a blue shift to it. It's really, really pretty. And now we have the first of the mattes, starting with the lightest purple. Absolutely gorgeous, so opaque, so, so pretty. And then we have <clears throat> the mid-toned purple matte here. These purples do stain slightly, but also I didn't really dedicate like a lot of effort to fully trying to get these shades off, so. Again, this shade is a little bit sheer, but built up really, really beautifully and evenly. And then we have this teal shade. So beautiful again super even opaque lovely okay last two shades so we have this dark navy matte super beautiful that's all I have to say <laughs> it's honestly crazy how long these freaking eye swatch portions take and then lastly we have this dark purple
okay. Again, super opaque, super pretty. It's like a really beautiful like eggplant purple color. And that concludes the eye swatch portion of today's video. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it. By the way, I have primed my eyes with the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base and I have not set my lids. So, like I said in the beginning, I want to do a half purple, half green. That's my vision, at least. So I'm going to start with this lightest purple from the Creeps and Crawls palette. Ooh, first time ever trying Glam Light. I'm going to put this in the, on the outer part, outer half of my crease, basically. Okay, I mean, so far so good, but it's not very much done. And then from the Rut Row Raggy palette, I'm gonna take the lighter, lightest green. And I'm gonna put this in the front part of my crease. Obviously, I'm going to try to not blend the purple and the green together too much because that's just gonna get muddy. But I find that it tends to be okay when I put enough depth in my crease, having like two complementary shades or contrasting shades. I mean, they're complementary colors, so complementary shades next to each other because the deeper shades kind of like help everything merge together. Okay, now dipping back into the Creeps and Crawls palette, and I'm gonna take this mid-toned purple here and put this in the outer corner of my eye and then blend it into my crease a little bit, just where obviously I put that um, lighter purple down. Okay, and then I'm going to take this tealy shade and put this in the front half of my crease. I know that I've heard people speak about these palettes and say that they aren't the same, I guess, matte formula as Glam Light typically has. Um, like, they're not as pigmented or whatever. And I, obviously this is the first Glam Light, uh, like, Glam Light shadows I've ever tried, so I don't have any, like, frame of reference, but... I'm enjoying them so far and I mean I like I don't mind a shadow that's l like a little bit later in pigment that you can build and these have been building really well so as long as you know they can build and on themselves and get deeper with more layers that's all I really care about and so far they are doing that so for me that's not a huge issue I guess if you really like super heavy intensely pigmented right out the gate shadows then would be a little bit disappointing but so far so good for personally me i'm just going to take a totally clean brush and just blend over the edges why is this so big and then to deepen my crease i'm going to take this really deep purple from the creeps and crawls palette and again, just put this in the purple section of my eye and build it up. Oh my god. Okay, again, so far so good. And then I'm going to take um, this dark green from the Rut Row Raggy palette. I'm going to get really tired of saying that. Um, and then <laughs> use this to deepen the front part of my crease. And like, even though... The mattes, like I said, don't go on, like, obviously this isn't going on immediately. It's like a super almost black green. You can see it's building up quite nicely. Okay, so what I'm going to do for my lid is I'm going to take this purple, so like the mid-tone of the pur three purple shimmers from the Creeps and Crawls palette, and then I'm going to take the bright green shimmer in the front part. First, I'm going to whip out this brand new NYX Glitter Primer, squeeze some onto my breath, obviously, just, I'm putting this just on my lid, all over my lid. Oh my god, already I have eyeshadow everywhere. 
Um, now I'm going to take this purple shade, put this, oh, oh, you guys, oh wow, people were not lying about Glam Light Shimmers. Uh, so pretty. And then I'm going to take the light green. Also stunning. Okay, so I did the same thing on the other eye. I just did a little bit more blending, but it's not really that exciting. Now I'm just going to take the purple on my finger. Oh my god. And intensify it on my lid, even though it really doesn't need it. I can say at least for these two shades, hype is deserved for Glam Light Shimmers. Holy smokes. And then the green. I'm just tapping back and forth with these. Obviously, they're not going to like blend amazing together, but I, I think they're doing just fine. Now I'm just going to do my lower lash line. So same deal. I'm just going to do the same thing on my lower lash line that I've done in my crease. Taking the mid-toned purple. Putting it on the outer half of my eyes. Then taking the tealy green. Putting that on the front part. I'm going to take the dark purple. Deep in my outer corners. And the dark green. Then take each of the lighter shades and blend these out. <sighs> I'm obsessed with this, you guys. Okay. Now I'm just going to take a black. This is just a Pat McGrath single matte black. Any black will do. And use this to deepen my outer corners. The blend's gotten a little bit out of control in my outer corner. Wow, that's an old reference. If you know my out of control blending reference, honestly, you're my best friend because you've been here when the videos were not good. Anyway, um, now though, I'm going to take this deepest purple from the Creeps and Crawls palette on my finger and uh, just tap this over my outer corner. I like to do this sometimes. I don't know. I think it's kind of fun. It's like depth but shimmer at the same time. I mean, it doesn't do a lot, but at the same time, it kind of does a lot, you know? Oh, oh, oh. I tried to be experimental. Okay, maybe not on my lower lash line, but it's there. Okay, so this is, okay. It's happening. It would have been fine if I hadn't had done it in a way that wasn't, okay, hold on. Did. For my inner corner and my brow bone, I'm going to take, um, I, yeah, I'm going to take this, I'm going to take this green highlight shade from the highlight duo, <laughs> obviously. I'm going to give this a spray just so it sticks. I haven't even used this on my face yet. And I'm going to put this on my inner corner. Ooh, this is also very sparkly. And then I'm going to put this also on my brow bone, and then I'm going to use the pink part to highlight my face. Speaking of face highlight, I'm just going to go on ahead and do that now, taking the pink side of this. Normally I do this before my lower lash line, but I forgot, so here we are. Okay, and this is the finished look. Honestly, I feel like I'm really giving Scooby-Doo right now. Like, I feel like I kind of nailed the look, in my humble opinion. Um, and then on my lips, before I forget, I'm wearing the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Ashton and the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Pink Sugar. My thoughts on these palettes. So far, I'm very 
impressed by them. I honestly had a very enjoyable time working with these shadows. I would say the only thing that I really noticed is that this teal from the Rut Row Raggy palette is a little sheer. So I guess there is some maybe uh, tr truth, I guess, in that they are a little bit more sheer, perhaps, than other Glam Light mattes. Again, I don't really, I don't have anything to compare it to. I did buy the Michaela, like the original Michaela palette, so I'll probably do a video on that as well, and then that at least will give me something to compare it to, but on their own. Otherwise, I had, like, no issues. Even if they're a little bit less pigmented, that they're not, like, so, so pigmented, I was able to build them really well. They blended really well. And honestly, sometimes I feel like having a more buildable formula is honestly a little bit easier to use anyway. And I just, again, love the color stories. The shimmers are gorgeous. Like, truly not disappointed at all. I know Glam Light obviously gets a ton of hype with their shimmers, and I'm not disappointed by them in the least. The highlight also was really pretty. This is the first time I used it. Obviously, I haven't used this green on my face, but on as a, as a sparkly eyeshadow, it's beautiful. Um, it looks like it maybe even might be a little bit more sparkly than the like pink one that I use, but I really like it. Um, obviously, you have to like colored highlighters and something that's a little bit more intense, but I'm a fan. Like, I don't know. I think it looks really, really pretty. I'm excited to use the green one on my face. So, so far, so fucking good with the Glam Light and Scooby-Doo collection. And I have zero regrets buying this. Um, I was a little bit scorned by my Unearthly purchase, which is one of the... I think it's like the newest brand that I've tried that I've never tried before. So I was like a little bit apprehensive about trying a new brand, but no disappointments here. I'm so, so happy that I picked this palette up. Anyway, let me know if you've tried Glam Light, what you love from them. Um, have you tried their other matte formula? What do you guys think about it? Please let me know. Um, and let me know if you want a video on the Michaela palette, because honestly, I'll probably make it no matter what, but it's always good to know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching, um, this video. I'm sure you'll be seeing much more of me than you have been, so. And then my battery died. So, I'm gonna leave it here for my iPhone. Thank you so much for watching, and I would love to see you in my next one, guys. Bye!